Welcome to the Metro Brokers online tutorial on how to add neighborhoods to your agent site. You're going to want to be logged into the back end of your agent site through the virtual office tab located on mymetrobrokersonline.com. Once you're in your back end, you want to locate the My Website tab and click on that. Once it opens this window, you're going to want to scroll down and find the Neighborhoods tab and click on that. As you can see, I already have some neighborhoods in here. And so in order to add a new neighborhood, we're going to do Add Neighborhoods. That is going to open this editor window where we can add a neighborhood. And the first thing you want to do is name it. So let's say I want to do a Highlands Ranch. I'm going to name it Highlands Ranch, and in order to locate that on this map, I'm going to type in Highlands Ranch. Once I start typing it, it, it has this drop-down bar, so I can click on that, and then click Locate on Map. Give it a minute to find Highlands Ranch on the Google Map down here. And here it is. I'm going to zoom out some so that I can see that better. Now you can see if I try zooming out too much, it'll tell me that I've, I've gone too far. So it's, it is limited. And then you can grab onto the map with this little hand and kind of put it where you want it to be. So let's say I want to be right in here. Now I want to draw my search area. So I'm going to start with a corner. And let's say I want this corner to be up here, so once I click on it, it'll, it'll show this red balloon that's kind of going out of the window here, but that's my starting point. And then I'm going to drag this line over as far as I want it to go to include my search area. So I'm going to come over here and come down here. And you can do all kinds of funky things and uh, weird shapes with this. So I wanted to cut out this area. I could just go up here, go down here, come back down, go over here. And then when you're ready to finish this search area, you're going to go back to the start point and click on it. And now you can see it's enclosed that area. And it's going to search for everything within this area. So that is how you do your map, and you can definitely play around with it. Let's say if I didn't have this the way I wanted it, I could come up here to this little clear button and clear the search area, and then I can start over again. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to scroll down, and the next thing is property type. And since this is not an email alert for a client, it's going to be a very general search for anybody who comes to my agent site I'm going to include all property types. And I am not going to add a price range because I want it to load everything that's available in Highlands Ranch. But I can select some of these bits. If I want it to show where all the local fire, fire departments are, or hospitals, airports, you can go through this list and click on the things that um, you want it to show on your map. So I clicked on a few of those, and then you want to add some education bits. I'm just going to add the standard elementary schools, high schools, and middle schools. And then down here you can see that we have an editor box. And you can pretty much do whatever you want in this editor box. You can add links. You can add a description of this particular neighborhood. Um, you can add photos. And for our purposes, I'm just going to add a photo. So I'm going to come over here to the photo icon, click on that, and it'll open this separate window where I can add a photo. There's a couple ways you can add a photo. You can either browse on your computer and find it. You can click this box, enter image URL, and this is for if you have the image on Flickr, Dropbox, or Picasso, and then you can just paste the URL for the image in here. So for our purposes, I just put a photo on my desktop. So I'm going to browse, go to my desktop, scroll down, and find that photo that I've already put on here. Click Open. That's going to add the photo up here. 
it'll give me a preview. And so for image description, I'm going to call it my Highlands Ranch photo. And then once you're done with that, you can come down here and click on the insert button. This is asking me if I want to enter something in this field up here, and I'm just going to say that that's okay, I don't want to. And then when you click on the photo, you can see that it can uh, resize it. So I want it to be relatively the same size as the other photos for my um, neighborhoods. So I'm going to kind of try to guesstimate that approximately that size. I may need to try to keep the proportions right. And I could type more information in here. I could center this if I wanted to by clicking on it and click the center button. But since all of my other neighborhood photos are aligned to the left, I'm going to oops, click on it and align it left. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. When I'm done, and now you can see that it has added Highlands Ranch to my neighborhoods. And let's say, oh, well, shoot, I really wanted um, this Haiwan to be the first neighborhood. So you can come over here where it says Reorder Neighborhoods and click on that. And then it's going to open this area where it has a list of the neighborhoods that I have on here. And it has these arrows next to each neighborhood. And so I can go to the High Wan neighborhood and click the Up button. And then keep, keep clicking it until I get High Wan at the top. And once I get it reordered the way I want, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on this Save button. It's telling me that it saved my record successfully. And now let's see what that looks like. So we're going to go back over to Show Neighborhoods. And now you can see that Haiwan is the first neighborhood. Now if you want to see what this looks like on the consumer side, then you're going to come over here to the My Website tab and click on this. It will open a separate window showing your agent website. And here's my agent site. And I want to go over here to the left-hand side and find the neighborhoods link and click on it. That's going to open my neighborhoods. And so here's a list of all of my neighborhoods. And I just want to take a peek and look at what Highlands Ranch looks like. So let's click on Highlands Ranch. It's going to open the search area where now it is searching for all of the properties with the criteria that I just set up. And it's going to get, take a minute because I, I um, selected all property types and um, all price ranges. So it's going to give me 304 results for everything in Highlands Ranch. And you can do a list view up here. You can click on that. If you want to see it in a list view, um, or you can leave it on the map view. It's having a it's 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 having a hard time loading just because there's a lot of information to load. So if you just kind of let it be and give it some time, it will load. And you can see this is the area for my um, that I drew for my search criteria, and it has all of these bits on here. So it's showing me. The, the schools and the area, um, hospitals, um, there's just all kinds of information on here. And these are the, the, the listings here. Uh, you can see so that they can go ahead, or you can go ahead and click on list view, and it'll show all of the listings without the bits. You may decide, after taking a peek at this map view, that maybe you don't want to have all of these bits on here. And that way you could go back to your, your agent site. So I'm just going to show you, if I pull this down, you can see I have these tabs open. And if I go back to, the, to my agent site, then I can come in here and click Edit 
under Highlands Ranch. And it's going to open this neighborhood again in the edit window. And I can say, you know, I, I just, I really didn't like having all of this, um, all of these schools on here. Um, I didn't like having all of these hospitals. You can decide what you want to put on there and what you want to leave off. So it's entirely up to you. This is the way that you can tweak it. You want to make sure that you save all of your changes. Um, and then go back to your, your agent site. Um, you can reload this and see how it's turning out. It's always a really good idea to, to toggle back and forth between your back end and your agent site so you can see the result of the work that you've done and make sure that it really is appearing the way that you want and that the links are working and everything is looking good on that consumer side. Uh, but there you have it. That's basically how you add a neighborhood to your agent site. And thank you for watching.